Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. I'm heading today to visit my buddy and then we're gonna head out and uh, maybe practice some skills. I tried to get out uh, yesterday uh, on my bike but uh, I dressed up and as soon as I left uh, my community the wind was pretty harsh and I had to turn around uh, last week uh, since last Sunday where I posted the last video and I wiped out uh, the winds are being pretty annoying here in uh, Calgary and area uh, even this morning um, there's still a little bit of wind but it's not as bad uh, it's manageable so I'm hoping uh, that it's not gonna last uh, plus uh, it is uh, pretty chilly this morning but uh, it's still early in the morning and uh, later when the sun is gonna go a little higher it should get warmer anyway it's supposed to be a decent day uh, i got about uh, i don't know um, 30 minute drive uh, or so to his place and then from there we're gonna make the decision where we want to go so yesterday i was sitting at home and uh, pretty much uh, doing nothing i had a plan to go out on a bike but uh, that didn't work unfortunately since i be riding through the city here well not, not right through downtown but uh, through the side uh, for those of you that uh, don't live around here there's your chance to see the Calgary skyline uh, that is just uh, up ahead of me and it's gonna be on our left uh, as we pass through it so this is like a, the main drag going through Calgary uh, Deerfoot trail I hate that road with passion uh, sometimes it gets jumped uh, especially in the traffic hour uh, in the morning commute from from and to from work so I don't like that road and uh, there is always uh, some shit going on in here so just up ahead uh, in front of us on the left side we, we are approaching uh, Calgary Zoo it's just here of uh, Memorial on the west side it's a pretty nice zoo here in Calgary uh, we like to get out here once in a while with our daughter she has a blast always and uh, a lot of fun with all the animals and uh, yeah you can see the skyline uh, just on the left side with uh, the famous uh, Calgary Tower uh, that's a pretty popular place uh, for any visitors that are coming uh, to the city and uh, in Calgary, for those people that are not uh, living here, um, Calgary is famous for the Calgary Stampede. So that's a big uh, rodeo and uh, all the kind, all kinds of, uh, I can say, cowboy competitions. Uh, also, there's like amusement park and a lot of food trucks and stuff like that. So it's a fun place to go uh, once in a while. I used to go there quite often but uh, now I just give up uh, I've been there too many times and it's like uh, if you've been there you've done it and I don't know like it's um, not something I want to do every year but yeah Calgary Stampede it's a big event and uh, that was cancelled for the first time in God knows how many years uh, last year because of the pandemic or pandemic. I wonder if that's gonna happen this year if they're gonna have it or not because uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, hardcore people that are attending this event every year uh, they are not too happy to me it doesn't really matter at this point I can't care less but um, all those competitions uh, cowboys that are coming from down south uh, is from states and everything that's a huge event event and uh, it draws a lot of tourism for Calgary but that's a big economic impact as well if this thing is cancelled because there's like thousands and thousands of people that are coming here every year for this and uh, it's broadcasted over the TV stations I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it but uh, here on my left there's an Olympic Park uh, I think the Olympic here in Calgary was in like 88 I don't remember now uh, 100% um, so yeah like uh, and we wanted uh, the Olympics, uh, Winter Olympics again, but uh, it, it never passed through. So just up ahead on those hills there, uh, that's where you will see uh, the 
ski jumps and uh, all the bobsle uh, bobsleigh uh, trucks. I was still in Europe, uh, back in my country, when uh, the Olympics uh, were in here. I wasn't in Canada yet at that time. And I was watching it uh, across uh, overseas. Here now, uh, on your left, you see that big uh, blue circle right there? <laughs> That's a biggest waste of money. It's just a circle with the light post on top of it. And they call it uh, Nenchi's ass. That's uh, Mayor Nenchi's. That's uh, Calgary's mayor. <laughs> That's a nice waste of money. I'm getting closer over to my uh, buddy's community. He lives uh, way up north here. And I'm located uh, way south. That's like uh, 45 minutes uh, drive or so. Oh, that is fine to tie. Ty pojechałeś prosto tak też trucks idą? Bo ja cię nie widzę. O, tam z tyłu jesteś, okej. Okay. Z przodu, I mean. this mode mm. tak tak ja no jakbym ale jak ten jak całkiem wyłączę bo jak tylko zgaśnie to nie I made it! Ale mnie wyrzuciło na koniec! <laughs> Przejechałem! It's very good. It was worth the trip across the city. Pull, pull, pull your antenna up because I think that uh, you're losing. Uh, I'm losing you. So you're not gonna last at us on the low battery. Kurde, te, te, co go tu przyniosło? Fajnie skidding na tym błocie. <laughs> what ten gravel tutaj był silny z tej strony jak się zjeżdżało
That's a steep hill. And up. I didn't even feel it. <laughs> you know, I feel it. Look at you little bastard Whoa Too much power Ale żeś nakurzał. No już upada wtedy. Ja. Yeah. Kurde, thank you. Robert is coming. Sweet. And this is the end of the road? Yeah, so that you can go down and up again. Whoa! Holy crap! This is a steep one. Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> this one is this that one is easy. <laughs> I will right away. <laughs> to use the vice like they meant to be used uh, we did it that way and I'm going that way because this is uh, one of the shallower sides so Okay. There's always a patch. And 
no, no, I can do that. But... See, so I just got no storm. I'm going on the other side. Ooh, that's a skinny section. Holy crap! And now. Holy crap, I'm still like deep inside! Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's Spanglish, yeah. But Spanish and English is Spanglish. Uh, it's a Polish and English, it's a Pinglish. <laughs> Did we go here now? Holy, there's enough of them. Wow, that was a takeoff! <laughs> and I jumped! Because <laughs> I went on that big rut and I got it up! Ooh. I'm sitting in the rut all the time! So that was a lot of fun. Very, very good day. So this is it for today, guys. We had a blast riding out there in the fields. And we just uh, stopped to give a quick, a quick rinse as we were covered in mud after those uh, water crossings. And the bikes were super messy. So we rinsed off and uh, we had a bite to eat, a uh, nice shawarma, now it's time to head home. I was supposed to be home about uh, an hour ago, I told my wife I'll be back, but it took a little bit longer unfortunately. I didn't, didn't plan to spend that much time outside. Time flies when you have uh, fun. Passing here by the airport on the left, I see the WestJet planes. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you like that content, don't forget to smash that like button, comment down below and subscribe as always. And thank you for my current subscribers and see you next time on the next adventure. I don't know what we're gonna do, but uh, there's something baking always in the back. Like I said, uh, we're gonna practice uh, much more off-road this year and those uh, days like this, like today. So the idea this year is uh, to practice way more off-road, just as we did uh, today. And we're having a blast every time we get out on those bikes. Next time maybe there's gonna be a couple other guys, uh, they couldn't make it today. Anyways, take care guys and ride safe.